Hi, it's Ian Pettigrew here, and I just want to make a quick video to announce my next fundraising challenge to support the work of, uh, of Hope for Justice. So each year I've tried to do something um, that really stretches me to raise money uh, and to support Hope for Justice. And I've done that for a few years, previously supporting money for Retrack before we joined the Hope for Justice family. Um, so I've done all sorts of stuff. I've run a few 10Ks. Um, I'm not a natural runner. Um, I last year, was it last year, the year before, um, did a go the distance challenge where I cycled 50 kilometers a day for seven days. Couldn't really walk very well for a few days after that. Um, and previously I've zip wired uh, over the Manchester Ship Canal um, from the top of the Imperial War Museum um, across the Ship Canal. So I want to let you know what my new challenge is. Um, I want to let you know why it's a big challenge and also why I'm doing it. So the challenge that I am going to start training for is to indoor cycle the height of Everest in a day. So it's a challenge known as virtual Everesting. Um, I'm going to read some of the numbers because I keep on forgetting them. So Everest is 8,848 metres. That's 29,029 feet. So my challenge is to ride that in the uh, in the height of a day. Um, and I'm going to be doing that via Zwift. Um, I've got an indoor bike, uh, which is accurate and calibrated. So I know that everything will be correct. And on Zwift, uh, the way that I'll do the challenge is I'll ride uh, a, a, a climbing ride called Alp the Zwift. And I need to do that eight and a half times. Um, and Alp the Zwift is a GPS modelled replica of the Tour de France stage called Alp d'Huez, which is kind of like that. Um, I've only ridden it once before um, and I managed my best, no, I managed it in 89 and a half minutes, so just under an hour and a half. Um, and then that was it. That was me absolutely done. So I need to do that eight and a half times. Um, this is going to be, I don't know, I'm guessing 14, 16 hours of cycling, um, maybe longer, um, something like that. Um, it's a killer. It's a bit of a killer challenge. And in fact, I was reading a blog post by a triathlete um, yesterday who had um, started the challenge and then abandoned it halfway through and was saying about why it's such an extreme um, challenge. So I'm going to cycle the height of Everest in a day. It's a big challenge. It's an even bigger challenge for me at the moment. And let me, if I can move over, let me explain why. Hang on. This is why. Um, th this is why this is a, a bit of a challenge uh, at the moment, or not a bit of a challenge, um, a very big challenge. So a couple of months ago, um, 13th Feb, to be precise, I was out walking the dog. Um, it was icy and I slipped and heard my ankle break, but then fell and landed awkwardly on my ankle and heard it break again. So I managed to break my ankle in all three places that you can actually break an ankle, um, try malleolar fracture, um, broke it really badly, had surgery, um, I'm on crutches, I've not been able to move, not been able to walk. Um, and in fact, let me just show you the x-rays. So let me show you what's, uh, what's happening. There you go, I'm showing them on my iPad. That's the, uh, the view um, from the front. Um, so you can see for a number of, uh, of pins and screws in there. Oh, you don't need to see my feet. Um, and that's the, uh, that's the side view as well. So a fair bit of uh, metal work in there. So I'm really fortunate though that I've been able to um, start physio just last week. And um, the physio asked me about objectives and um, I shared my two objectives. The first one is to be able to walk uh, and to walk without a limp. And the second one is to um, do this virtual Everesting challenge. And he was not phased by either uh, of those, I'm pleased to say. Although we did talk about how hard we're going to have to work together to achieve, uh, to achieve both of those. So I have my bike. So I've got a Watt bike Atom uh, next generation that I'll be uh, using both the train and using for the challenge on the day. Um, the eagle-eyed amongst you will spot that there's no pedals um, on there. And that's because um, my cycling shoes, very high vis. Um, that I normally use. Um, I, my foot's still a bit swollen, so I can't get in those for a while. So 
um, I'm swapping them for uh, for toe clips until I'm able to uh, to do that. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I am going to complete it by um, I, I can't set a specific date, um, but I'm hoping to do it in 2021, if not definitely by March 2022. So within 12 months. Um, I will cycle the height of Everest in a day. My absolute aim is to do it as an official V Everesting challenge. So to do it um, within one day with no sleep. Um, that, that's the official rule. Um, you're allowed to get off the bike to go to the loo, for instance, and get food, but you, you cannot take a sleep. It has to be one attempt. My absolute intent is to do that. If I have medical reasons that stops me doing that, if I have to do it over several days, I will do that. I will crawl up it, whatever. But my aim is to do the uh, the official um, V Everest thing challenge. Um, why am I doing it? Hope for justice exists to bring an end to, to modern slavery. Um, and I'll, I'll share more things as we go along this journey because I'll be sharing some updates. But I've been fortunate to, as a trustee of Hope for Justice and previously as a trustee and chair of Retrack, I've been fortunate to see some of our work with my own eyes. Um, so the work with street children in Uganda, um, to see the, the work in Ethiopia and Uganda um, facilitating self-help groups. So helping to empower women in remote rural communities it, it, it's just so amazing um to see the work in the uk in the us in australia to to help um to both prevent um and also to rescue people from modern slavery to rescue children from child sexual exploitation um and, and to to reform society the work just continues to amaze me um and so i will i've always said i will do everything that i can to help to support the work and so this is me doing that um so i'm going to continue i will give this my absolute all i will um i'll post the link to my just giving page that i've set up um underneath here in the comments and i'll continue to um to post updates both about how i'm getting on how i'm getting on with the training um i'm hoping with even i might be able to get on the bike even before i can walk um and so that'll be something we'll be uh, we'll be trying at, uh, at physio um that's it that's my challenge thank you for watching bye